been just raining. We're at this roadside stop with the bathroom. The kids have been <laughs> playing Daddy. Roblox <laughs> with our friends, Jason and Angela, who we finally met up again with yesterday. It's like three o'clock already and we haven't gone anywhere, but are you guys having fun? Yeah. We're probably not going to see Bodhi. He said next summer. Yeah, until next summer. Next year. Next That's spring? Cool. Spring. Spring? We're going to see him on spring? Maybe. We'll see. I don't think next, they said next summer. Summer for sure. Food is ready, so let me... Uh, hey, he came in just in time. Well, actually, this is still this is still cooling down. We need to let this cool down. We've been using a pressure cooker. This is actually something that was recommended to us by our friends Adam and Emily from Our Open Road when we met them last year. They said, hey, we use a pressure cooker. Several great things about a pressure cooker. This is a stovetop one, so it's not an instant pot like a lot of people use. Those are electric. So stovetop one, we can use any kind of flame, any kind of heat source. What's great is that you can cook like a meat stew or something that takes a long time to cook very quickly. So this was like a 15 minute sort of cook and then it's pressurized so we just got to let it cool down. So instead of having this on the flame for like hours, we're only running our propane stove for maybe 10 minutes to get it up to boiling and then put the lid on and another 12 minutes after that. So yeah, like 20, 25, 30 minutes. You can see that it's still pressurized. This little button will have to go down when it's ready and then we'll open it. But yeah, and this is also very versatile. You can just use this for anything else that you might use a, a big pot for, like boiling water for pasta or cooking rice or whatever. I mean, you can literally cook rice in like 10 minutes like you let the water boil and then you put the lid on for five minutes and then you shut the flame off and the, the second this button goes down pressure decreases rice is ready i've not made rice yet okay. but i have to let this finish cooking before i can make more stuff daddy that came up what are you, what are you making yeah daddy? this is up until that comes down daddy, it's the, it's so bloody who's talking so many people is are talking it's not a surprise. What is it? It's meat, potatoes, tomato sauce, and stuff. It's hopefully it'll be good. And onions? We have no more onions. So we didn't put onions in there. Are you sad or happy? I don't know. <laughs> Luca. Come on. Come on, they're all there. I'm taking their last last photo of the year, baby. All right. Baby, don't be sad. Get in the car, it's cold! Alright guys. Right, guys. Maybe we'll see you in Denmark hey, if we uh see you later, alligator. Yeah, don't find anything fun to do here. Okay. You and Bo can still play online, okay? Alright, bud. And maybe we can do a um FaceTime call. <gasps> yeah. You can? Yeah. yeah. You can't call me. Yeah, I don't have just talk. <laughs> Bye. 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 You guys can use that. Bye. You guys Bye, guys. have Bye. so much Bye. fun. Bye. 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 Okay, close the door. It's freezing. Luca's very, very sad. Luca, how can we so sad of, of not seeing that you didn't say goodbye? He doesn't want to be seen crying outside. If you're crying, would you like people to see you? My lips. Yeah, it's raining on your face. Okay, so here's the result of the pressure cooker. We got chunks of pork, really cooked potatoes, and a delicious sauce. There they go, little red bus. I feel like when we say goodbye, it's not blast goodbye. It's not. Because we wave goodbye to them. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of colors in this bowl. But it tastes good. It smells like orange. How's it taste? Good. Good? good? You guys like it? Yeah. Potatoes and the meat. Is it very soft? 
Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. Oh. But is the meat is the meat cooked all the way? Yeah, I think so. We can mash the potatoes, huh? That's what I'm doing. Okay. We're the only ones left at this rest stop. So we finished our lunch. Marlene's cleaning up inside. I'm going to take the kids to the bathroom. And then we're going to head to the town that's just about 10 miles south of us. We need to fill up on our water and probably find a place to empty our toilets. Definitely need to fill up water. Definitely fill up water. Definitely. We went through all three jugs of water. As you can see, it's still raining. Today being the 13th, we have to be in Germany in 10 days. Really? Yep, 10 oh, days. Wee. We're coming down to almost single digit days before we have to be in Germany. Which is kind of a bummer for us because there's still a lot for us to see here in Norway. But we also have to budget some time to drive through Denmark, take the ferry, and then probably a day to drive through Germany to get to Dusseldorf. So we're probably only looking at like four or five days of Norway left, which is a bit of a bummer, but we've been here a long time. And thanks to you guys, you've uh, really inspired me to keep making these daily vlogs while we're here. So this rest stop has uh, one of these public can, restrooms. Can I slide the card? Can I slide the card? So solar powered, first of all, which is pretty cool. And the doors are locked. And it's controlled by this magnetic swiper, which is interesting because you can use any magnetic strip to open this. Any card, even your, your um, driver's license. Yeah, so I've been using my California driver's license. What if you use a piece of paper and it still works? No, it's gotta be it's gotta be able to read something. Oh. So I'm using my California driver's license just because I don't know if I want to give them my credit card number. But at the same time, they have my driver's license info. But I don't know. Let's try this. Here we go. Oh, this one wasn't heavy at all. Yeah, this is much lighter. This is so tiny. Okay, check out this bathroom in it's here. So tiny. A hand dryer. Mirror, which is mirror. a stainless, polished stainless box that houses the water pump, hot water, really hot water, soap, and then What's another it? kind of soap. <laughs> I don't know why. It just is. Yep. And toilet paper, trash can, drain on the floor, automatic flushing or push button flushing. So, oh yeah, and then like electronic door locks. When you come in, you hit the red button, it locks the door. Yep. All right. So this time I get to Who has to go? You guys go. <laughs> okay, go. This one's bigger. Just go. I already opened this door. I don't want to swipe my card again. Your card again? Bye. Bye. All right. Most exciting night of our trip. And the following day, hanging out at a rest area. numbering system that they go by for the I'm guessing they make it in the store but then the prices vary so much they vary from a dollar a loaf to like six dollars a loaf and then the sizes of the bread isn't much bigger I'm guessing it's just the, the ingredients so is the dollar loaf like no good is it made for dogs pets ducks, ducks birds Reindeers? I don't know. That's what we've been eating, and they taste perfectly fine to us. So, if you're Norwegian, and you know 
the difference between all these different loaves of breads. Yeah, let us know in the comments. <laughs> It's a little dark, but during the day, huh? Somebody threw a half eaten apple in there. When the sun is out, this is like a turquoise blue, classic color for like a glacial runoff. And this is where we ended up. There's a bunch of people here. Somebody right there watching something on the TV. And we're just parked sideways over there. We're just staying for the night and leaving relatively early tomorrow. So we're not going to bother trying to find a better place, even though I think this is pretty good. We didn't do a whole lot today, mostly because the kids wanted to hang out with Bodhi. So we were at the last rest stop until like three o'clock, basically before we left. We drove maybe about an hour, hour and a half towards this area west of where we were where all the glaciers and all the fjords are in lower norway in southern norway didn't quite want to drive until it's dark so we stopped here and it's from here as we go up that there are a lot more places to stay so i think this is a good place to start tomorrow we've only got maybe at the most a week left in norway before we have to start making our way through denmark and germany so we're going to try to make the best of it it rained most of today, but it's not raining right now. And it's not supposed to rain too much tomorrow. So we're gonna try to see if we can get some sightseeing done, maybe do a hike tomorrow. Not sure exactly where we'll end up yet, but that's the plan. We are sort of in the middle of all these national parks now in Southern Norway. And this rest stop has like a, has like a little, little building that's like a, maybe, a national park visitor center a little kiosk when it's open nobody's here now so we can't really tell and there's a few people fishing over here in this uh, freshwater river this guy used to be in between these guys but he moved nice toilets again at this rest stop and here right here is that the national park Visitor center, information center thing, little kiosk. So maybe if it opens tomorrow, we'll be able to get some information. And it looks like maybe they also sell moose burgers. A little nice spot to sit outside. Some people tent camping over there. And this guy fishing. Our trip through Scandinavia is starting to kind of wind down. We're really at the tail end of this uh, loop around the Nordic regions now. But I think we may keep the daily vlog going for a little while yet. Because I'm thinking that it might be interesting for you guys to see just what caravan salon might be like. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Are you guys interested in caravan salon and maybe doing a tour of some of the booths? and? seeing some of the new caravans that they have in Europe. Let me know what you think. Maybe I need to do a series of daily vlogs in Dusseldorf. That might be fun. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.